can get any feedback from your volume being on. Huh? Like your computer, get any feedback from them being on. I don't think so. All right. Oh, I can, I can hit the mute button just in case. Are we live? Let's see, we should be live. Let me see. I'm gonna go on my phone. Hello, hello, if you can hear us or see us. Give us a shout know. out, hello. Happy Thursday, everybody. I think we're live, because I see people, yeah. I can see people on here now. Yeah, Kathy says, hey, yes, Terrence says you're live. Awesome. Hello, Brother T. Good to. Hi, Kathy. How's it going? Go, we're going. Hi, Mama. And Brittany and Jay, hi. Pray that all of y'all have had a great week this week. Give me a thumb up. Give me a thumbs up if it's been a good day. Or an amen. Been a busy week here. Yes, it has. <laughs> hmm. We'll let a few more people gather with us that we'll kick it in. You're here for the next few minutes tonight. Okay, we're, I, I see quite a few people. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy Bohannon says she need a shave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tommy Bohannon, show me a picture of your mug face, your mug shot, huh? Show us what your scars look like and your whiskers. We just want you to come around so we can actually see you. We miss you. <laughs> we sure do. We sure do. You to come over here and give me some bass fishing tips in person. <laughs> Absolutely. That's right. We love you, man. Hi, Linda. I see Linda. Aww. That's awesome. All right. Well, we'll kick it off here tonight. And uh, thank you for joining us for these few minutes. And we had a great Sunday service. Uh, those of you that were able to come out and be a part of the worship service, uh, wow, what a dynamic uh, even my boys were mentioning on the way home Sunday how powerful the worship was, the energy was, yeah. how exciting that we were all able to be back together. Even though it looked a little different in the worship pods, we think it went well. Yeah. And everyone that was at home and online watching Sunday morning or throughout yeah. the day and week, thank you so much. We, we pray that uh, God would just be with you wherever you were at with God and pray that the, mm -hmm. the, the Spirit of God that just really blessed you and strengthened you and encouraged you mm -hmm. and that we can remember, man, what God does in our life in the valleys or even on the mountaintops. Mm -hmm. And he's with us in the service. He's Emmanuel. His Spirit yeah. was there. But he's, where, he's with you wherever you are as well, whether that be at home or, yeah. or in the building with us. Um, we just pray that you felt the presence of the Lord Amen. as strongly as we did. And we miss your faces. And um, we look forward to when we can all be together and without any cares of... of um, worship pods. In our worship pods, <laughs> yeah. Our small groups in the building. Yeah. That really worked out. Uh, talking well. to um, a couple of people this week, their church uh, that they're a part of was doing something very similar mm -hmm. uh, because of the because of the social distancing and I know a lot of churches uh, did not have a they didn't open their services uh, they opened open their churches this weekend mm -hmm. very few percentage of churches were able to do that and so I'm thankful mm -hmm. that uh, we've had a lot of hard work behind the scenes yeah. a lot of stuff went on behind the scenes that some of you may never know about but I really appreciate everyone that stepped up that prayed that got involved uh, put a lot of thinking in, into the process of making this possible. And so yeah. big thank you to everyone uh, that was a part of that, making that possible. Uh, especially my family, uh, my Jennifer and the boys, they really stepped up this uh, past week and helping out making everything really successful. Because uh, uh, um, if you are a business leader or part of a company, part of a school district, you understand that the school board, the district superintendent, other pastors I know, they have put a lot of thought and process before they opened the doors. And mm -hmm. we, we personally know of four churches that were severely impacted by COVID-19. 
a lot of people in were early in the early stages. So mm -hmm. um, we're thankful that uh, you have been supportive, that mm -hmm. you have prayed, yeah. and um, that you sit. Uh, yeah. That you're patient with us. While patience. We, yeah, that we figure things out. It, it's not a. Um, it's not an easy, uh, an easy thing to navigate, an easy situation to navigate, um, and a lot of thinking and a lot of praying has gone on, um, has gone on in the background. And many of you are praying with us, and yeah. we just appreciate it so much. And um, thank you for understanding during yeah. this time. It's, it's just a time that we've never, we didn't prepare for. <laughs> uh, it yeah. caught us off guard, really. Everybody. And it caught everybody off guard. So, but I believe that we're going to see some great things through it. We already have and, so. um, some great, you know, um, basically having to do services online kind of forced us to, um, to develop our online ministry more, more yeah. so we really didn't, we'd, we'd streamed a couple of times here and there, but nothing, mm -hmm. you know, um, on a consistent basis. And we keep hearing this from other leaders, um, in churches that are, that we fellowship with, you know, saying, Hey. We've really had to amp up our game and, and kind of get, you know, into a yeah. new way of, um, of operating through this. It kind of forced us to, to um, expand that area yeah. of ministry. And so we're doing so. And um, last week, we, it was largely very successful, I think, with yeah. the online. Very much so. Um, but we do want you to know that we had to do, uh, that was a completely different process than the week before, the weeks before where we were, recording ahead and then doing a lot of post-production Chris Reed and Jeremy involved in that and so it's a totally different process we have plenty of room for improvement and we're working very hard yeah. um, to improve that so that your experience at home if you're if you're someone who's still at home we want you to feel as plugged in That's right. um, as you did before and so we're having to do things differently to be able to record live and so we're going to be working on those systems. So bear with us as we kind of learn as we go. Um, again, just huge props to our, our media team. Jeremy was there and Chris was there and Jonah um, helping us, you know, just figure things out. Last week, um, Jeff Dunlap kind of got in on it and he's going to help us with, with some sound and some mixing issues that um, we're going to have to deal with too. Um, but we're excited about the changes. We're excited about yeah. um, just the good things that have come through it. And um, can I share my Romans? Yeah, go ahead, my share. Romans. Go okay, ahead. so um, so I just wanted to to share some scriptures with you. I don't know if any of you caught my uh, uh, my post the other day about IKEA because the boys are their schools closed uh, for now. Um, we had to order some desks from IKEA. And if you've ever ordered anything from Ikea, you know um, that there's going to be a lot of assembling in your future. And it probably, I don't know how many pieces were in that box, but... There were thousands, <laughs> literally thousands of pieces in that one little box. How they get so much in that box? I don't I know. I don't know. Yeah. We, uh, we opened that box and um, there are a lot of pieces. And so we, we organized very carefully and we've done a few Ikea things before. So I was organizing pieces and he was reading directions and um, even in that even when you start doing things like that you're going to notice uh, your character starts to, <laughs> starts to pop out and maybe our rough edges a little bit um, we, we got a little snippy with each other a time or two <laughs> not you it's <laughs> only he's mostly right but anyway mostly mostly what? mostly <laughs> but anyway uh <laughs> Oh, God bless Ikea. But anyway, it reminded me. Ikea will bring you to the knees. <laughs> the preacher can't bring you to the knees. Open your Ikea box. You'll go to your knees. <laughs> Travailing words. <laughs> but during times of testing um, or challenge challenges, um, it's going to reveal um, how much of the Holy Spirit is in us. And, and it reveals maybe what we're lacking. Um, I, it, it brought to mind um, an illustration that a friend of mine an old friend of mine used to share and he would say when you are under stress when you're under pressure we're kind of like tubes of toothpaste and when you start to feel the squeeze it's whatever's inside of us comes out and sometimes it's what we want to come out and sometimes it's not um, 
And so what we do during those times is we just surrender to the Holy Spirit. And we say, you know what, produce those gifts in us, the gifts of the Spirit in us, um, so that we can display those fruits. It's not thing, uh, the fruits of the Spirit are not yeah. things that we, we try to do. We don't try to have patience. And I've tried that before. I want to say I have tried this in the past. You know, I thought, when, when I'm squeezed, rainbows come out. <laughs> I beg to differ. Um, we'll go with that. Uh, so, you're gross. Anyway, so um, so the fruits of the Spirit, though, when um, you know, we, we can try to do those on our own but it's not going to work. Um, those fruits in Galatians, it says that the fruits of the spirit, um, the, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control against such things. There is no law. And I really like to read it in, in the message too, because, um, it puts it in a, in a way that I can understand a little bit better. It says this, um, starting in verse 22. If you're reading along, if you have your Bible, read along with us. Um, in Galatians 5, 22 through 24, it says, But what happens when we live God's way? He brings gifts into our lives, much the same way that fruit appears in an orchard. Things like affection for others, exuberance about life, serenity. We develop a willingness to stick with things, a sense of compassion in the heart, and a conviction that a basic holiness permeates things and people. We find ourselves involved in loyal commitments, not needing to force our way in life, able to marshal and direct our energies wisely. And then it says this, legalism is helpless in bringing this about. It only gets in the way. Among those who belong to Christ, everything connected with getting our own way and mindlessly responding to what everyone else calls necessities is killed off for good. It's crucified. But um, sometimes in those seasons where we're we're having to wait, and we're definitely in one of those seasons where you know many of us are just so anxious to to get back to um, some sense of what we you know think is normal, and so we want to push the pedal in the metal and and um, and cruise on through. But often that's not maybe not God's plan for us. Um, Sometimes he's he's building things in us and he's developing things in us. Even yeah. during these waiting times, um, Isaiah wrote, they, those that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength, that they'll mount up with wings like eagles, they'll run and not grow weary. Um, and so I think that during those waiting times, it's challenging and we kind of want yeah. those times to be past. But often God is building, he's building things in us. And he's wanting to um, to develop something great in us and do things that maybe we never even dreamed. Um, in Romans, it says this, um, Romans 5, 1 through 2 says, By entering through faith into what God has always wanted to do for us, set us right with him, make us fit for him. We have it all together with God because of our master Jesus. And that's not all. Now, this is cool. Listen to this. We throw open our doors to God and discover at the same moment that he has already thrown open his door to us. We find ourselves standing where we always hoped we might stand, out in the wide open spaces of God's grace and glory, standing tall and shouting our praise. And then it says there's more to come. We continue to shout our praise even when we're hemmed in with troubles because we know how troubles can develop passionate patience in us. I like that, passionate patience, and how that patience in turn forges the tempered steel of virtue, um, keeping us alert for whatever God will do next. And that's the thing, we don't know what God's gonna do next in us, but we need to be ready. In alert expectancy such as this, we're never left feeling shortchanged, quite the contrary, we can't round up enough containers to hold everything that God generously pours into our lives through the Holy Spirit. So during this time, we just want to encourage you that um, as we navigate forward, and we don't know exactly how things are going to look um, in the future, in our nation, um, in our state, or even in our church, we don't know how things are going to be, but the Lord does. And yeah. he's there, and if we can just stay patient and stay surrendered to him, let him do what he's going to do in us so that's that good. we're ready 
for whatever he's yeah. got next for us. Right. Because I believe it's it's great. Excuse me. Um, the scripture says that the ladder is going to be greater. And so we've just got to be ready, stay alert, yeah. stay patient, and let the Holy Spirit. Um, it's hard to surrender. It's hard to surrender our will. When we were working on that desk, I wanted to pick it up and do things myself. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it, <laughs> almost phoned a friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's challenging because we want our own way, but yeah. that's not the way it is when we're serving the Lord. We have to surrender our lives to Him and and see what He's going to do, and hopefully He's going to do something beautiful in us and for His glory. Yeah. You know, um, what's one thing you've learned about during this time, this pandemic, Jen? Um. Oh, man, I've learned a lot of things. Well, I'll tell you what I've learned. Okay. Um, I've learned to have uh, a great family time. Yeah. I've learned that, yeah. man, I have a wonderful family, a yeah. beautiful, hot, gorgeous wife, and three amazing sons, Jonah, Jude, and Joel. And Jude, I do know your name, don't I? <laughs> um, I did not call you Jonah or Joel. But uh, I got a wonderful family uh, in Louisiana, my mom and dad and brother and Rachel and their kids and... I got a wonderful family here. I got the best mother-in-law ever. <laughs> best mother-in-law ever. The best mother-in-law I've ever had. Um, so uh, we love you, Larry, Diane, and uh, all of our family, Jeff and Julie, uh, and their families. We love you guys. I love you guys so much. You got a great family. Yeah, you do. And, um, and then, but, and maybe other people have learned a hobby during this time. Mm -hmm. uh, some guys have painted their house. Some guys have learned some great hobbies. But then I thought about it a little bit further, and I thought, what's one thing I've learned about myself? Not a hobby, but what have I learned about myself? Mm -hmm. And through uh, not being able to go do what I wanted to do, <laughs> when I wanted to do it at restaurants and go places and do things. And I literally went to four hardware stores the other day because the first one I went to had like a 30 minute wait to get inside. The second one was about the same. The third one's about the same. Finally, I went to the fourth one and got in and got my stuff and got out. It just drew, it took me 45 <laughs> minutes to go to the hardware store for yeah. some rivets. And, uh, and so I don't know who prayed for patience in the world, but God really answered your prayer in a huge yeah. way. Stop praying patience. for patience, whoever you are, because we got it, okay? We got it. God is doing a work in me, and and I, I think about Paul, how Paul encouraged Timothy. Um, I talked about this Sunday morning, if you're able to, to watch and be there. Uh, Paul says, what, I want to, I'll, Timothy, I want you to remember the genuine faith that is in you. Therefore, remind you to stir up the gift of God. Yeah. And what I want to challenge all of us to do and to preach to myself, there's a mirror right over here. You can't see it, but I'm looking at a mirror. Yeah. And I, I want God to help me stir up the gift of God that is in me, the power of God's spirit. Because mm -hmm. it's not a spirit of fear of what's going on, but it's a spirit of power, love, mm -hmm. and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. I want the power of God's spirit to be real, to be powerful. I want to be quick to pray, not quick to curse. I don't be quick to give encouraging words and not quick to sow discourse or strife. I want to learn to have a second nature to speak life, to speak hope, to speak faith. So when obstacles come, circumstances come, that I am not reverting back to the old lifestyle like mm -hmm. Egypt, the Old Testament talks about, but I want to put on the fruits of the Spirit like Jennifer was talking about patience and uh, patience, I think, is an underrated gift of the Spirit. I think it's a, a wonderful thing to wait upon the Lord. Paul said, I want to give you a couple of things to think about the Church of Philippi. Think about true things, honest things, just things, pure things, lovely things, good report, virtuous things, anything that's praiseworthy. Uh, think about these things. And maybe I need to start telling people, hey, Look what God is doing in your life. These good mm -hmm. reports that we could talk about and celebrate, laugh about, yeah. encourage one another about. Um, like Abraham, he could always tell people that my God's a provider. What did God provide him on the mountaintop? He provided the sacrifice. Uh, what could Joseph talk about with his family? Hey, guys, remember that time y'all sold me as a slave in the, in that, out of that hole? 
but look what God's done with my life since then, because you guys did that. God took that bad thing. It did something amazing that we have food today at the dinner table mm -hmm. because look what God did. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're going to be like a Moses. Mom had to, to give you up, uh, put you in that little boat, send you down the river. But look today, I can say, hey, God has brought us out of slavery and God has brought us into God's promises. Maybe you can be like Elijah. Remember, hey, he's a God that answers by fire. He's a God that answers prayer. Amen. Maybe you've never prayed a prayer and saw fire fall out of the sky, but you have had direct answers of mm -hmm. prayer that God has worked in your life. It's mm -hmm. been your fire. What has been your fire? Maybe a job, maybe dinner. Maybe someone pulled over on the side of the road and they were your angel dressed up like a mechanic with, with the tools to help you out. Mm -hmm. God answers our prayers. You can always share that with your kids. Share that with your next door neighbor. Mm -hmm. Look at my scar on my arm. Uh, there's a God that has given me use of my right arm. And for mm -hmm. a while there, they thought I was going to lose it at the elbow. He's a God that heals. Yeah. He's, the, he's the fourth man in the fiery trial that you're going in, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. He's always going to be there. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, but I'll be with you in the good times on the mountaintops. But more importantly, when no one thinks God's going to be with you in the dark times, he's there in the dark times. I want you to be reminded of that today. And maybe you're like Nehemiah. He's a God that's going to help you rebuild. Mm -hmm. I said this Sunday morning, I really felt in my heart that God wanted someone to hear that. And I feel it right now as well. That God, Mama, is going to help you rebuild yeah. your life. Yeah. What the enemy meant to destroy your life, mm -hmm. what he threw at you, his best, his best lineup he threw at you, but you're not destroyed. Paul said, I may be cast down, but I'm not destroyed. Micah said, enemies don't rejoice when I fall, because I'm going to get back up. back up. God is my light. God is my light that's going to light a path for me to get back on and what the right path for my mm -hmm. life is going to be. Last verse here tonight. Hebrews chapter 11, uh, chapter 13, verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I want to remind you that today. Hey, we love you. We're praying for yes. you. And I just want to say this to everyone in our church family and friends abroad. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Yeah. I just got to get, I got to uh, send out to, um, uh, Parents into uh, uh, Tim Lot, wherever you guys are at tonight. Mm -hmm. Amen. I love these two guys uh, so, so much. Mm -hmm. They take time out of their busy schedules and family time um, and just send me a text. Uh, send me, a, just pick up the phone and give me a call. Say, hey, what is going on? We always can't talk right there on the spot, but you know what? It means the world mm -hmm. when. Mm -hmm any one of my friends take time out to let them to let me know that you're praying for me that you're yeah. thinking about me and i appreciate one that does that for my boys and jennifer yeah. uh, your words of Absolutely. encouragement are so priceless we yeah. love to hear from you and we we love to just reach out to you and bless you and i got some ministry friends across the country they they do that from time to time what a blessing it is to know that you're not going through life by yourself right Amen. He's a wonderful, wonderful God. God bless you tonight. Hey, a couple of things we just want to sh give you a shout out tonight. A couple of things on yeah. the horizon that we've been working on uh, during this time. And uh, yeah, and I, and I wanted to say too, thank you for Sunday morning. And some of you weren't there who were a part of that. Uh, Lesh and I both share a birthday in May, and he turned 50. Got my AARP card, baby. <laughs> Sing your discount. Ooh! <laughs> I don't know if you get a senior discount, well. but. He'll get something. I'll get anyway, something anyway. Yeah, he gets something. Anyway, thank you. And then for Mother's Day, <laughs> the church gave me a gorgeous hibis tropical hibiscus tree. And it was warm enough today that I was able to put it outside on the front porch so that it can get sun. Um, but you gave us cards and um, and just sweet gifts. Such well, generous gifts. And we were... We weren't expecting it and we were overwhelmed. Just yeah. thank you so much for thinking of us and for loving us. And we read every note in those cards. Thank you so much for doing that. 
Yeah, thank you very much for taking the time to share your thoughts and your love. My word, you are the best church ever. God yes, bless you. you. We love you best guys. Best church so. ever. <laughs> Those little girls. We forgot to yeah. play that video this year. The Mother's Day video. The Mother's best Day video. Mom yeah. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Like anyway. <laughs> um, hey, the RSVP process that we used last week, that worked great. Um, so we're asking you to do the same thing. If you can go out there right now, if you're planning to be uh, with us present in the building on Sunday morning, if you can go out right now to familychurch.net forward slash RSVP. And if you go to familychurch.net, there's a huge uh, block at the top of the page that basically says, it's a graphic, it says RSVP in very large letters. Click on that. It's going to ask you for um, your name and then how many people are going to be in your party. That is basically the only way that we can stay compliant with the state and county Sorry. guidelines yeah. and still be able to worship together. Um, we have to group people together who have been quarantined together. So if you've been kind of regularly hanging out with another family and you don't mind sitting together, that even helps us too. It helps us out. So the square footage of the building. Yeah. So your family for sure. If you have not, it's not a big deal. We had some um, some single seats there Sunday and we were so happy to see you and we hope that you come back. Um, but use the RSVP system because that's really the only way that we can accommodate everyone who wants to worship right. and we have to kind of move those things around as we are going to you know as we beforehand we can't do it yeah. when you get there or we couldn't we couldn't maintain that six foot distance uh, between the worship pods yeah those worked really great um and people were very mindful i think of the six foot um the six foot distance between one another um we're going to keep working on that and try to do better Look, we're just trying to protect everyone right. and um, and protect the vulnerable among us and um, and do as much as we can um, just to, make it to, safe to make it safe for people to come and worship. It was so good. And I yeah. think I said it in the first part of the service, but that part, uh, I think that's when we had a tech issue and, and maybe missed. But it was so good just to see faces there and to yeah. be able to worship with people in person. You have no idea. Um, when you're leading worship, <laughs> yeah. it's and even preaching, yeah. it's crazy to try to preach to an empty building or to, preach um, to a, a little or tiny even camera. a camera right yeah. now. But we know you're there. Love um, you, Dan. <laughs> but we uh, we were so we were so thrilled to see faces. But we, if you weren't there and you were behind the camera, we are missing you too. So we just want you to. I hope you feel connected, and we can't mm -hmm. wait till yeah. it's safe for you to be with us too. And and we love you and we miss your faces and we're thinking about you all the time. Please reach out to us if you need anything. Um, give us a call if we can't take the... We're still helping our kids with school right now. And um, he's he's working too. So and, and I'm working and helping kids with school. But if we can't call back right then, we'll, we will later we will, in the day. We'll call you very soon, yeah. And we, will, um, we want to be in touch with you and we want to be able to help you and, um, and be there for you. RSVP. Hey, um, so um, I'm kind of tagging on to that. What's working really well, kind of the, the two gentlemen that have been recently giving me a shout out. And everybody's welcome to call me, text me anytime you want to. I'd love to hear from you. But if you could just maybe write down, uh, literally write down somebody or make a note somewhere of two people that you could try to reach out to tonight or tomorrow yeah. and do it every day. Could be the same two people or could be two different people. Yeah. But if you could just send them a note, say, hey, I love you, praying for you. Yeah. Um, or, uh, hey, let's grab a coffee. We'll sit in our cars and talk. Or if the restaurants are now are soon to be open, do something. But just reach out let somebody know um, that you are with us. We have uh, a lot of folks in church that their families may not live here with them. And, yeah. uh, so uh, kind of figure out who that is and uh, mm -hmm. ask questions and reach out to them and let them know mm -hmm. that, hey, we love you. We're praying for you. Yeah. And God is with us. Yeah, He's Amen. with us. It's good. And you never know when God prompts that person's name in your heart. Um, you know, don't don't shrug that off because you never know what God. You never know what they're going through and what just a simple yeah. word of encouragement. I have countless stories of yeah. how God used people to encourage me and, and 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 the other way too. You know, people will say you have no idea what what it meant to hear from you at that moment. So yeah. 
um, follow that prompting of the Holy Spirit. It's good. Um, grads, uh, we I think we've contacted all of our high school grads. Twenty twenty grads. Woo fireworks! We're excited for you, and we want to celebrate you um, this Sunday. And we may be celebrating some of them next Sunday who may not be able to make it this Sunday. Um, but we want to celebrate you, and yes. we have some information that we need from you. So if you are graduating from high school, from college, from tech school, or any kind of other certification, yeah. we want to celebrate with you. So let us know, uh, send us a note so that we can send you some information to fill out because we want to honor you this Sunday yeah. and um, the following Sunday maybe too. Um, for those RSVPs, if we could have those RSVPs by five o'clock on Friday evening, that would be amazing. So you've got 20, 21 hours. <laughs> Go for it. You can do it. We're kind of rounding up there. Yeah, yeah 21 hours. Um, also, we are really excited. Um, you all wear your Dream Team t-shirts all the time and your family church t-shirts, but we know that some of them are starting to look a little, they're looking a little worn. So we, with the new seasons coming, the summer, the summertime yeah. coming, we have new family church merch coming. Woohoo! Merch. Merch. Um, Is merch so, in the dictionary yet? I don't know. I don't know. That's what the kids call it. So it's kind of cool. We're calling can, it. We're calling Tommy Bohannon, can I start saying merch? <laughs> <laughs> um, merch is coming. T-shirts. Um, we might do some ball caps and some coffee mugs. And if there's something that you want that we haven't mentioned, send us a note because we're going to do it. Let us know. Uh, we're going to place orders soon, so watch your, your inbox for details about those. We have at least two designs for the T-shirts, and so we're kind of excited about those. Yeah. And in some new fresh colors. Looking good. So it's going to, yeah, looking fresh. Yeah. Flesh. Yeah. And um, so. Can I say that? Lush in the fresh, looking fresh? Lush in the flesh, looking fresh. But walking in the spirit. But walking in the gotta spirit. Gotta walk in the spirit. That's right. Yeah. Crucify with Christ, yeah. 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 That's it. That's all I have. Well, hey, thank you so much. Uh, it's good to um, see uh -oh, you. My battery's running low. And to uh, be with you tonight. If you have any questions or calls, uh, um, thoughts, just give us a shout, send us a note, and uh, let us know what's going on. And I'm going to wrap up with prayer tonight and pray that uh, God just continues to be with you throughout this evening and through the weekend services and that, that God is just going to do a great revival in our hearts and our families. A prayer request I want to send to you tonight. i got a special, special loved one, a friend of mine. Uh, many of you know Dave. Uh, Dave Wells was in a car accident uh, Tuesday and... Uh, and he is at the hospital. He's recovering. I'm not sure all the details just yet. And uh, they're still kind of coming out. But uh, we want to just say a prayer for Dave Wells yeah. and his family. And um, that God will be with him during this recovery time. That he'll have healing in his body from head to toe. Mm -hmm. And that God will be with his family. And just comfort them with the peace of God and the, the, the strength of God in their lives. So wherever you're at tonight, would you just... Find somebody close to you and just put them on a bear hug and just, and let's just pray for the Wells family and just, just pray for one another wherever we're at tonight, all right? Heavenly Father, we just come to you tonight. You're the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, we thank you for your blessings today. Uh, they're rich, detailed to our life, Lord. We just yes. thank you for these things, God. We pray that you just encourage each and every one of us tonight, God, mm -hmm. that wherever we're at tonight, Whenever we watch this, God, that, God, you'll be with us and stir up gifts, stir up the gift of the power of God, of power, love, and of a sound mind that will think on these things, the gifts of the Spirit, the, the fruits of the Spirit, God. We just praise you and give you yes, thanks yeah. tonight. God, we pray for the Wells family that you yes, just God. give them healing head to toe. We pray for his family, yes, God, that you cover them with the peace and the comfort of God. In Jesus' name, we thank you tonight. Can you say amen, everybody? Amen. Amen or type amen. God type is with amen. us in Jesus' name. Hey, we love you. We're looking forward to see you Sunday morning, either at our church location or we'll see you on, online today. And then in Jesus' name, God bless you. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Oh, and there's people I want to say hi to. That oh, I just now saw their new don't, name. Don't hang up yet or long Jessica Grow. Hi, Catherine Soberg, Dylan. 
Jessica Johnson, Diana Slaughter, I love you, I miss you. Uh, Mark Porter. Hey Mark, is that my, Sherry? And my Aunt Sherry. What's up, Aunt Sherry? <laughs> love you. I'm from and Dwayne. This is my friend from Donovan. Oh. Cool. Who I knew many, many years. We were going to run away from home together many years ago. Run away from home? <laughs> when oh. we were in the third grade. Oh, so. my word. That's hilarious. Anyway, yeah. Angel, it's so good to see you. And um, that is Catherine's sister. Terry Sneed, hi. Terry, what's you. up? Rachel, what's up? Rachel, Mary Rachel. Laird. Oh, man. Stephanie. Stephanie. My friend Darlene. Darlene. Oh, my goodness. So Benita. good to see you all. Yeah, Benita. Jean Beth, hi. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well, and we love you all. Love you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Be sure to call two people tonight. Text them, email them, and tomorrow. God bless. Good night.